26 WC qualifiers, Chuti and Mujisha fire Rwanda past South Africa. Rwanda returned to winning ways following Tuesday's emphatic 2-0 victory over South Africa at Huye Stadium in a 2026 FIFA World Cup Group C qualifier. Amavubi had not won a competitive game since March 24, 2021 until APR FC forwards Innocent Chuti and Gilbert Mojisha stole the show with two crucial first half goals to bring the strike to an end and send home supporters into frenzy. Frank Spiedler made two changes from the starting eleven that drew goalless with Zimbabwe last week, introducing fit again Olivier Nunzima and Kevin Muhide for Bonel Mujisha and Hakim Sahavo respectively. The game started brightly from both sides despite the soggy nature of the pitch condition due to a heavy downpour barely 30 minutes before the game. Rwanda had the first chance of the afternoon in the sixth minute. A pass from Obre Modiba did not go through as Kevin Mohire pounced on the ball, but the midfielder failed to give Gilbert Mojisha with his final delivery. Omborega Fitina, who was looking lively with his marauding runs down the right flank, found Gilbert Mojisha with a super big long pass. The winger controlled the ball on his chest, but his effort to the side net in the 12th minute to the relief of the Bafana Bafana bench. Shuti opened the scores in the 14th minute after running into an empty space and received a pass from the midfield before firing past Ronwen Williams to give the home side the lead. He was booked for taking off his shirt in the celebration of the goal. The South African defense was at the time looking shaky, finding it difficult to contain the artistry of Nchuti, Log, Jirinjiro and Mujisha who looked dangerous in attack. Their pressing paid dividends when central back Andrew Mutsinzi found Gilbert Mujisha with a cross-field 30-yard pass. The winger used his place to dribble past Bongo Kole before firing a grounder to the far corner of the net in the 26th minute to make it 2-0 for Rwanda. South Africa nearly reduced the defeat in the 35th minute, but Anjo Mutsinzi recovered beautifully to clear his lines after Themba's win stole the ball from him. Emmanuel Imanishimi turned Percy Taupo throughout the game of as the Bafana Bafana live wire had no room to operate. Randa was in control of the game until both sides hit for the half-time break. After recess, Speedler bowed on Patrick Subamana for lead beating Jiro as he needed a speed stir from the right wing. South Africa coach Hugo Bruce also brought on a striker Zakeli Lepasa for Luogwane as he hoped to strengthen his attack. Both teams were playing at a rather slow pace as compared to the first half where the intensity was very high. Rwanda made another tactical change in the 60th minute as Hakim Sahaba was brought on for Kevin Mohire in order him to supply the balls to the attackers. Emmanuel Imanshimi surged forward in the 70th minute and found skipper Jihad Wizimana who fired a looping effort but it was saved by goalkeeper Ronwen Williams. Bienvenue Mugenzi came in for innocent shooting in the 75th minute whereas three minutes later Claude Niamugabo came in for Mujisha Gilbert. Niamugabo nearly gifted a goal with his first touch as he was stripped off the ball by Tao but Mutsinzi reacted fast to clear the danger. Randa decided to stop the pressure in the final 10 minutes of the game and hit the South Africans on the counter. Hakim Sahabo threatened the vital area of South Africa with his menacing runs as he held onto the ball to create space for Mugenzi. Central referee Amin Mohamed Omar blew his whistle for the end of the game after the four minutes of additional time has elapsed. The victory propelled Rwanda at the top of Group C with four points, a point clear of South Africa and two ahead of Nigeria and Lesotho. Benin find themselves bottom with one point. Thank you for watching Chugali Daily News. Yeah, we're